shot was accidentally fired from a gun at a local elementary school open house last night, and one person suffered minor injuries. Now, an investigation complicated by the occupation of the person with the gun. News Channel News Jolene Ferris reports. Dozens of young students and parents lined up outside Frankfurt Schuyler Elementary School Tuesday night for a back to school open house got quite the scare. There was an on duty SRO at the open house. He was notified of an incident and after investigation it was found to be that it was a accidental discharge of a firearm. One person was injured. The chief wouldn't say if it was a student, student family member, staff member, child or adult. Very, very minor. Very minor. From being hit by the bullet or from like something else the, hitting it? At, yeah, at this point we're unsure exactly what caused the injuries. The gun was in the possession of someone they believe to be an off-duty but active police officer, not in Frankfurt. The chief declined to say where. The Herkimer County District Attorney did say how. My understanding is it fell to the ground and went off when it hit the ground. And that appears to be consistent with, with the investigation. With much gratitude that the bullet didn't do much more harm, the next questions are legal ones, and there are plenty. Can an active but off-duty officer carry on school grounds? Yeah, so that's, a, that's a, an interesting question in this particular case, but um, the, answer, the short answer is yes. Was this his service weapon or a legally owned, privately owned weapon? Yeah, so that, um, until we get confirmation from the police department for which he works, and we don't know the answer to that yet. Will that matter? No, probably not. But if he wasn't legally in possession of it? If he wasn't, then he, uh, potentially a person could be in violation of the licensing requirements, and there are penalties for that also. The DA's office expected to talk to the injured person late this afternoon. They're still getting documentation to confirm the person's active police officer status because that matters to the law, but not to the investigation. That's going to be handled like any other investigation. I mean, we have uh, an allegation of potential criminal conduct. We're going to investigate it. If it turns out that there is uh, criminal liability, the agency will make an arrest. Jolene Ferris, News Channel 2.